Hey everyone, this will be Al Pacino as Frank Serpico, directed by Sidney Lumet, 1973, amazing film, if you haven't seen it, it's an old story. He was the uh, probably one of the first undercover detectives to bring cor corruption to the forefront, cops getting paid and all that. Great sculpt work, great paint. Just beautiful. That is Al Pacino through and through, 1973. But the, uh, the head sculpt loses something. Not here. I still like the profile. The paint to the beard, to the cheek, could have been a little better, but... Red right under the eyes looks great. The peacoat is phenomenal. The tailoring is phenomenal. It frayed bell-bottom pants, deep jeans, the uh, boots are an issue. I'm, uh, all cult king shoes suck ass. I mean, this is like Hasbro meets Fisher Price. Um, they go high, they go to about here, which is kind of high. I'm going to get a true type for this guy. The gun, which is an accessory, has a nice silver wash over it. Although it's held by these shiny plastic toy hands that don't match the paint app on the face, so I'm gonna have to change the hands eventually, but I don't see myself putting this guy in too many dynamic poses or anything. Just a look at that. That is that is Frank Serpico from Serpico. But you do lose the sculpt at one point, I'll show you that. The hair looks nice, has a lot of detail. Should be a little darker actually, jet black. Then right here you lose the face. The eyes are too close together. The eyebrows aren't thick enough. Here's a better view of the detail in the sculpt of the hair. So the box is just plain black. Everyone knows it. It's a picture of the item don't like the picture too much. The useless toy hands and a thigh, I think. COA, 12 out of 50, which seems like a lot for this type of figure. Um, now the Vito I have, the body's actually better. Yeah, he's, um, he seems more articulated, but you know, like you don't put these guys in dynamic poses, so to me, a statue pose is fine, and I'll do a review on him another day. But I mean, look at that face. I mean, that is something else. Uh, Sidney Lumet also did a film after 1974, which was Godfather Part Two. They did Dark Day Afternoon in 1975, which is a great film. I think I might like Serpico better, um, but I always wanted this figure when it, I saw it on the forums and stuff. So I have it, and I'm really happy. So thanks for watching, guys.